Your wrist is real. Your wrist is real. Your wrist is real. Your wrist is Me love the vibes, yeah. No one now fight, yeah. Pause the chair, what my naganja grandpa. Ride for joy, fuck. Fly for cry for Mr. Flavor, we die for. Be a ganja in a misjunctor. Me, why you give me? Export the ganja worldwide. So give me ganja, ganja, give me ganja, ganja. Ganja, me and friends, but 24 hours. Give me ganja, ganja, give me ganja, ganja. Be a ganja man, the boy, yeah. Yo, give me ganja, ganja, give me ganja, ganja. Ganja, we and friends, but 24 hours. Give me ganja, ganja, give me ganja, ganja. Be a ganja man, the boy, yeah. Give me. What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? Yeah, this is your boy, Mr. E. This is me, boss of the South Side Bosses right now. And you're listening to BOSS Radio Reggae Hour. That there was your boy, Mr. Flavor, with the ganja weed. You know what I'm saying? I, I had to put a little bit in there, too. I don't know if you can tell right now. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> For all my guests that's watching us on SBC TV, Facebook, and YouTube right now, I want to welcome all y'all. And uh, to Reggae Hour, uh, we usually don't do too much talking on Reggae Hour like the brains are the underground uh, uh, the underground music uh, from, uh, like, especially on reggae hour, we do underground reggae rhythms and things of that nature, straight from the islands, or straight from Africa, or straight from all over the world. You know, they got the everybody got their own form of reggae because you know everybody got their own form of life. It's all about culture, that music, you baby. So, you know, um, but 
What, right now, I want to talk about something serious because we just found out today, you know what I'm saying, that they sentenced Bill Cosby to three to ten years uh, for uh, sexual for sexual misconduct. And, you know, it, if he's guilty, then that's where he, he he deserves that. You know, I'm not here. I'm not going to fight everybody, you know, or, or try to say, you know, I, I really believe that he didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, not I, I don't believe that. He did it in the aspect everybody think. I think everything went down. I just, I just don't think those women were forced into it. But they, that's beside the point. You know what I'm saying? Um, if he was guilty, then he deserves uh, all 10 years. Every day of them 10 years. You know what I'm saying? So uh, definitely any sexual predator needs to, needs to be punished to every uh, to the fullest of, to, of the penalty of the law. But this is what what, what it brings me to. You know, um, like, like I want to read a little bit about the sentencing. You know, we uh, uh, it, but he pretty much was sentenced to like three to ten years for drugging and sexually assaulting many women over the course of many years. You know, what I said, but it really was about the case that happened in two thousand four. And I'm sorry, I'm looking at this picture of this lady in this case, and I'm sorry, I, I, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a meme too, and it says that uh, that uh, if, Co if this is the chick that Cosby had to rape, uh, the drug, then who drugged Cosby? You know, that's like that's cold right there. But you know, like uh, this is who this is the lady. I'm trying to find her name right now. But uh, pretty much, uh, she is the one that will uh, that will get justice, uh, receive justice for uh, being uh, sexually abused by Bill Cosby, and he did get to three ten years. And he would, he started, uh, I believe, last night in state uh, state prison. So he is locked up behind bars. And again, if he is guilty, then he needs to. We got another. We got a predator behind bars. I ain't gonna say another one because it seems like these people are just uh, getting away with murder left and, or excuse me, sexual assault left and right. And what one person I wanted to bring up was, um, I, I know y'all remember back uh, back uh, in two thousand fifteen. Uh, I'm sorry, it was it back in two thousand fourteen? Uh, there was a 22-year-old, or excuse me, I forgot uh, how old he was, but Brock Allen Turner was uh, indicted on three counts of felony sexual assault. Let three counts. Now, that's three counts to Cosby's one. Okay. So, now, let's go on a little further. You know what I'm saying? Uh, indictment January 28, 2015 on counts of rape of an intoxicated person, rape of an unconscious person, sexual penetration of an unconscious woman, sexual penetration of an intoxicated woman, and sexual ass uh, assault, excuse me, assault with intent to commit rape. Uh, and it started on March uh, 14, 2016. This is the, the case started, uh, the, the, the court uh, and they found him uh, guilty on the last three, but the first two they withdrawn by was withdrawn by prosecution. They dropped them pretty much. The prosecution dropped them. But Turner was sentenced to Ju on June second, two thousand sixteen, to six months incarceration in the Santa Clara County Jail, to be followed by three years of probation. He was released three months early. Additionally, Turner must register as a sex offender for the rest of his life and participate in it. Yeah, we see how good that works. I don't know if y'all noticed, but people don't really have to do that anymore. I don't know what's going on with that. What, 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 the, what, what the issue is that, you know, they used to be having to they go around when they move into a new neighborhood and introduce themselves to their neighbors and put a sign out in front of the yard. So, you know, you tell your sure if you see that sign right there, don't go nowhere near it, you know. <laughs> but... With Turner, Turner got six months, was indicted on three accounts, whereas Bill Cosby was it was only uh, indicted on one count for of sexual assault. And if I'm just saying, if 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 Bill Cosby deserves ten years for one account, then don't Brock Turner deserves thirty, right? Or, or is it because Bill Cosby already lived his life, so even though he's 81 years old, you're gonna still throw him, away, throw him in jail, and let him rot away for the rest of his life in, in jail. Because you know that's gonna deteriorate his health. Because if it wasn't been for his freedom to be able to get good health care, you know he wouldn't probably last it as long as he did. You know what I'm saying? But you know he's gonna deteriorate in prison. I'm not trying to make no excuses. Don't 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 get this wrong. I'm not trying to make excuses. What I'm saying is that if it is 
uh, this is this is something. Uh, yeah, okay, I can understand that not all states hold the same punishment, but six months for some for 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 rape. Six months for rape. Don't you think we need to actually look at these punishments? Because maybe if we look at these punishments, we'll be able to actually stop people from actually doing it. Or it will be more inclined for a person to think, okay, what if I get caught for this? Because one thing about murder, you can say about murder, oh, it, uh, murder, the, 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 the punishment for murder is life or the death sentence. And that still doesn't deter murder. Well, and one thing with murder is that murder is actually an easy case to beat. Whereas now, rape with the, with the science that we have now, they don't get, they, they can actually find out who the rapist is. It's ways to, to, to find a rapist than it is. more ways to find a rapist than it is to find a murderer. So we should be able to look at, okay, and, and if you, when we got one state that is, Holding a lesser sentence, uh, sentencing guideline than one other state. Uh, if you have the money and the and the power, you actually can be able to change venues from a state that holds a maximum penalty of ten years to another state that has a maximum penalty of six months. And then you can plead guilty, and get probation, and be out there. Raping somebody else. I think that rape should be something that should be. It, it can't. It, it shouldn't be a, a state, a state by state case because it is only one thing. It is the taking the most one of the most precious things from a woman. And no matter what state you live in, you that woman. Every woman in each state that gets raped has a, the same state of mind. The same state. So how do we get these women justice? Because even though Bill Clinton, Bill Cosby, excuse me, I'm some Bill Clinton, <laughs> bringing in another type of sexual predator. <laughs> anyway, but Bill Cosby, he's already lived his life of luxury. He he's 81 years old. He done he done went around and lived uh, and and seen all the world over, and he's he's visited the world over. And he's talked to. Many famous people. He has memories. You know, this man is going to be sitting in his cell recounting all of his memories from when he was uh, um, living the life. When he was living the life. You know, and now these women, though, they were never able to get over that because this is something they always going to be thinking about. It's always going to be haunting them. This is with any rape victim, not just Bill Cosby's rape victim, you know, uh, rape victims. This is any victim. Any victim that, that, that experiences trauma like that, they're traumatized for life, meaning that even if there's, that their attacker is sentenced to prison, sentenced to life in prison, or, or sentenced to the death penalty, this is something that's still that's going to wake them up out in the middle of the night with cold sweats. You know, this is something that every time they get close to them to to or they try to get close to somebody, they it's going to be very hard for them to get close to them because what if this is the same person? Because you know, most rape victims aren't raped by strangers; they're raped by people that they know and trust. So that's a breach of trust. How do you begin to build that trust back in order to show a woman that you? I'm talking from a man's perspective. Trying to date a, a rape victim, you know, they have their guard already torn down. They they don't believe that you really want to protect them. So now I, as a man, have to have to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am there for their protection. And that so now you see that there's not only just the rape victim, the, the female, but there's also it, it, it affects all of society, all of society, you know. And you're right, prison isn't a good enough punishment. I'm talking to you. Thank you, Connie. You, you hit that right on the head. Prison really isn't a good enough punishment. I think that when it actually comes down to rape or something like this, you know, I, don't, I, I can't really remember the culture back in, 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 in the ancient times. They used to turn them into eunuchs. They used to turn them into eunuchs. I'm not saying go that far. <laughs> I'm not saying don't go that far. I'm just saying there's other punishments out there that can be that can match the crime because that what they say the, the the punishment should match the crime and 
imprisoning someone. Someone. I'm gonna tell you where the where the justice come in at when you imprison somebody who is who is a rapist. The justice come in as you send if you send them to the right camp. If you send them to the right camp and somebody finds out why they were there, then yeah, the inmates will handle that. But the CEOs. Or, or the justice system, the judge, the lawyers, no. Let the CEO, I mean, let the inmates handle that. If you want to put them in population, let it let, let it be known what they end up for. You know, I guarantee you somebody's going to make them pay for it. But at the same time, though, this is something that the victims would never hear about. Because it's not supposed to happen. So, you know, the guards got to keep it on hush hush. So they don't get no satisfaction in it. And if, even if they were the type of people to take satisfaction in it and then something like that, they wouldn't be able to get that satisfaction. But what if that person, what if that, that victim isn't a person that would take satisfaction in harm being brought to another person? You know, what if they're not that type? What if they, they're the type that uh, uh, hope that that person Get goes to prison and realizes the error of their ways, change their lives, and accept the Lord Jesus in their heart and and change their life. You know, what, what, what that 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 you know? Say, well, how do you up? You see, this is why we have to revise the whole justice system. The whole legal system has to be revised. Uh but yeah, and. Exactly, and like it, 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 it's like thank you, kind of. That's a good point too. With the um, the justice system, whenever they do go into a prison, they, they first thing they say they do is they put them in protective custody. Why? Why? I, was that person thinking about protective custody when he was taking a, a advantage of somebody who couldn't protect themselves? But what we supposed to protect him? I don't want my taxpayer money paying for PC. I'm going to tell you like that. I don't want my taxpayer money to pay for PC. Some of them people deserve not to be in PC. Some of them people deserve not to be, not to be <laughs> protected. I'm sorry. Uh, if you can take advantage of somebody who couldn't protect themselves, you should be put in a position. That would be proper punishment for you because then the, 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 the punishment fits the crime. You couldn't protect yourself. So, uh, you know, and you know, the, Damn, I didn't know that. I didn't know that PC was caused by a sex offender who was uh, suing due to safety. For real? I, I didn't know that. You know, yeah, I didn't know. I, I didn't know something about they got to keep you safe in there. But one thing I don't understand is how somebody could put themselves in a, a in a deadly situation and then act like they're supposed to be protected. You can't do that. You can't do that. And this is the reason why we don't have real proper... Uh, a, a, a proper legal system. I mean, you got the 22 year old. He he gets away uh, with six, uh, sentenced to six months. Only do 90 days. Now all he got to do is just keep his nose clean for another three years. And then he gets scot free. He's off of probation next year. Next year he's off of probation. Where we have uh, that we still got Bill Cosby who's getting three to ten years. We still don't know what's going to happen to Brett Kavanaugh. And we already know that Trump ain't going to get indicted for nothing. We know this. If you don't know that Trump ain't going to get indicted for nothing, then you, you don't understand the game that's being played right now. The game that's being played right now is take your enemies out. Take your enemies out at any cost. And uh, they're going to do that. I, it, this is what also makes me wonder about Republican Roy Moore. Uh, from Alabama, you know, uh, he actually was taken out from this. Like he, he didn't survive this. Like Trump survived this, and and, and uh, apparently, how Brett Kavanaugh might be surviving this. You know, uh, I still got an article to read where they said Trump may uh may be rethinking his nomination for the Supreme Court. But at the same time, though, even if he's just rethinking it, he still has a chance to, you know, not let these these uh, these allegations go unfounded. I mean, they, that's unfounded. They continue to go unfounded because they won't let an investigation pursue. Mm -mm. I'm just saying, this man ain't even been in, in, arrested yet. He's been accused and ain't even been arrested yet. Where they do that at? What, what, Brett, Brett Kavanaugh, where, where did they do that at? The three women came out and said, yeah, that man was there. He did this and he did that. And he still ain't been arrested yet. See, and this is why we don't have, the, 
people. That's why we. It's rare that we have women that come out. You know, because I ain't going to lie. It's suspect that they coming out after all this time. But I see why. I see why they take forever. To, these ladies take forever to come out. It's because who the hell would believe them? And when it comes to a situation like, oh, now we got a rapist that's going to be in the Supreme Court. No, we got to do something. Now, we got to do something. I can't let this go by. And then they want to come out because they, they, they have to pick up their courage in order to come out and be like, you know what? I know people ain't going to believe me. But at the same time, though, this this has to this this has to stop. And we can't look at this as I'm sorry, it's not a case by case. Rape is not a case by case scenario. Rape is the taking of of woman's innocence in any kind of way because that's the worst thing you can do to a woman. That's the worst thing. A lot of people think uh, uh, breaking a woman's heart is the worst thing you do. No, that woman will rebuild her heart and it'll be just as strong and it would love just as strong on the next relationship. But when you do, you break, you take that woman's innocence, that's it. Who can she trust? And when she don't trust you, it causes a cycle. You know, innocent men get pulled into the cycle, you know, and then they like, damn, what did I do? I ain't do nothing wrong. But you just don't know that man, innocent man, don't know he's catching that that backlash from what uh, somebody who took from her should be getting, you know. But he's not there because he was a coward. He ran. No. Right, and okay, that's a good point. Uh, if a person gets, uh, Connie says, if a person gets raped and the rapist pleads guilty, the victim doesn't get to face them in court, and many want to face them. Uh, yeah, see, like I said, that when it comes to getting the justice, the justice is a case, maybe a case by case scenario because you know some some women would want to face that rapist after he's been sentenced. You know what I'm saying? To look them in the eye and get that closure. You know, and some actually say they don't. When in actuality they do, you know what I'm saying. And I, I'm not trying to laugh about the situation. It just it's it, the, the 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 feelings that these people are going through at the time. You'll never be able to understand unless you actually been through that. And I honestly I can't fully grasp. I can just grasp what I'm seeing right now. What I'm seeing right now is that women who are being raped, victims of rape, are not being given true justice. They aren't. I'm sorry. They aren't. Now you say that. A person, I've I, I actually uh, heard somebody say that a person shouldn't lose their whole life just because they made one mistake. Rape is not a mistake. Rape is not a mistake. Rape is a conscious act. When that person says, no, stop, and you choose to keep going, the key word in that is choose. You chose to keep going. So now, since you have scarred that person for life, your life now needs to be scarred. Just like the young, there's people, there's people out there who made a mistake when they was young, doing some drunk driving. You know, when you, 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 you're drunk and you, your thinking is impaired, yeah, you can make some mistakes because you probably didn't choose to. You probably were just so inebriated you wasn't in your proper faculties. Now, that's when mistakes can be made. So, yeah, something like that shouldn't haunt you for the rest of your life. But guess what? It does. It does haunt you for the rest of your life. So, if something like that is going to haunt you for the rest of your life, why can't, you, why can't a rapist lose his life? Lose their life, period. His, her, whoever. Because it ain't just men out there raping. It ain't. Yeah, I, honestly... Men, if you out there getting raped by a, a, a by a woman, by anybody, you, you you need to step up. I'm sorry, you gotta step up. It's not fair. I'm not I'm, I'm not saying that it's a double standard. It just I, I'm sorry. As a man, me myself, I I, I will um I, I wouldn't no I wouldn't allow that to happen over and over. You know that would not be something that. It, and I would have to come forward if it was to happen to me. I would, I would, I would be the first to uh, admit that because it is a lifetime injury, and I'm I'm trying to get over it ASAP for one and for two. Uh, if I don't come forward, it's because that person, uh, the, the 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 attacker, is dead. 
point plain simple. That's just how I'm just talking. Um, oh, how I feel about the situation when it comes to me. But man, you got to be able to talk about these things. Don't feel like your manhood is at stake. Because if you feel like your manhood is at stake, what do you what do you think the women that go through this feel? You know. They don't, it's not they have their manhood at stake. It's not that they have their womanhood at stake. This is something that's painful and yet they still come forward. This is something that is, like Connie said, a lifetime injury they know they're going to have to live with, but they still come forward. So, man, you got to start coming forward. If you're being uh, uh, sexually abused, you're being uh, 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 abused in any kind of way, harassed in any kind of way. You gotta be able to come forward because if you don't, we would never have true reform. We would never be able to have anybody that will come forward and stop the things that are going on. And the only way we're gonna stop it is by bringing awareness to these things. You ain't bringing awareness to what's going on, then all you're doing is facilitating the problem. You're helping the problem grow. And we're not trying to let the problem grow. Uh, uh, the, 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 the way that we need to look at the system is this. We need stronger laws on we, we we talk about gun gun laws. I'm sorry, but guns never killed anyone. Guns have been used to kill people. So let's put don't put more sanctions on how to get a legal gun because most of the time it's not a legal gun. <laughs> but we need to definitely put more sanctions on these rape laws. I mean, I mean, what, what, what are we thinking about when we're thinking about giving somebody six months and then letting them go after three? What are we thinking about when we say that just because that person has been accused of rape, that person shouldn't be automatically thrown in jail? What do we say when a person is who is a witness to a crime and we still say we don't need to question that person because that person already gave us a statement about another crime. Are you kidding me? What are we thinking about? I, I just don't understand where we get that from. Well, we don't understand. Well, we, it's, it's a case by case scenario. People are getting treated with special preferences because I remember a few years ago, I don't know if y'all remember about the dick tapping thing. Oh, y'all know yeah, the foot tapping thing in the airports? Y'all, y'all, let, let me remind you. About six, seven years ago, there was a couple of senators that got caught going into the airport bathroom and sitting in stalls and waiting for somebody to put their foot up under, you know, with the, the, the divider with, that separates the stalls, you know, to put their foot up under there and, and get tapped on so they can know if they're going to, you know, I guess glory hold it. Yeah, and this is the people who make our laws. See, of course, these other going to they're going to pass laws or, or not pass laws that's going to punish a person who does something that they do. And these are lobbyists. To me, they're the same thing as lobbyists because they just lobbyists with the actual seat. They ain't got a lobby. They ain't got to sit in a lobby. They got to actually sit in the fucking senator seat in the House of Representatives seat, pass laws that make their life easy and make it harder for the rest of us. I just don't understand why. I can see Bill Cosby sitting in prison for 10 years, but I have to deal with the fact that Brock Turner, uh, with three accounts of, of sexual misconduct, only got 90 days. I, I can't deal with that. I got to take a sip to that. I just don't get it. So until somebody can actually show me and prove to me that what I'm looking at is if there's certain situ there's a situation there that I don't know about. Maybe, maybe, maybe the girl was a prostitute, and since there wasn't really not enough evidence, he pled out of the six months. I, I don't know, but from what I'm reading, it was supposed to be a nice girl, a nice 22 year old girl, uh, who went to college with him. And if she if she calls that justice, then that sets the standard. For every other victim that comes after her. And that y'all shouldn't let that stay like that. That's all I'm saying. And I'm I'm here to fight for that, bring awareness to this and that. We need so we need so much, so much legal reform when it comes to uh to this to when it comes to sexual misconduct, because everybody is supposed to be able to live without fear 
of being taken advantage of sexually. You know, sex is just so much of a wonderful thing. How can you constantly, how can you desecrate that? You know, by you doing that, by you take, by you, by you breaking a woman's confidence in one of the most beautiful things that nature has given us, you have done society a disservice. And since that's a, that that victimizes every man that ever comes in contact with her that could love her, right? You should be punished severely, severely, because these are probably children that won't ever be born that will carry this next generation and generations after that into the future. Just think of it like that. That's all I got to say about that. Thank you, Kanye. I... I I felt like this was a great show. And, and we got to definitely, uh, uh, if y'all don't know already, if y'all ain't tuned in to our last couple of shows and you ain't heard the announcement, me and Connie from Moat Soul Radio, y'all need to check her out on that. You can be able to find on Spreaker.com. You'll find on Facebook as well. But we definitely finna do a show uh, with, with, with the underprivileged children. So y'all make sure y'all tune in for that. Uh, and we ain't talking about just a regular radio show between radios. No, we talking about something big. So y'all keep in details. Y'all ain't already following us. Like I said, go find her page. It's M uh, M W A H at So Radio. Find her, follow her, like a page. That way you can keep up with these details of what was going on. Because if you really want to see these, because it, let's just say this: even though children are born with a a handicap or a mental deform or deformity, physical or mental, or uh, or have say, uh, what say you? They don't mean that they don't want to be normal, and I think that we should we should treat them as if they're normal. Because if you really want to get down to the nitty gritty, everybody just want to be treated normally. Everybody just want to be treated with love, and that's what we want to do. We want to actually do something to where we can make them feel normal. So y'all definitely need to go ahead and follow, like I say, follow my Etso Radio. That way you can catch the details about what we're going to be doing soon. For real. Because they, 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 if you need to bring any kind of awareness to, we got the platforms. So definitely bring y'all stories to us. You can see, you can uh, email me at southsidesubmissions at gmail.com. Let me know whatever uh, story y'all want to bring to awareness and we'll Definitely get that, uh, uh, get you a slide in and help let you break it out. And artists, if you're really trying to get your music heard, like especially reggae artists, you know this is reggae hour. You need to hit us up at southsidesubmissions at gmail.com as well. You can go ahead and follow our website at www.sbcmovement.com. If you ain't already like our page, go ahead and like our page at Southside Boss Connection on Facebook. You can join our group, Southside Bosses, and this group here, True Heritage, where you'll be able to hear all types of jurisprudence, civics, law, economics, things of that nature that we like to talk about here. If you want to go ahead and follow us on Instagram and Twitter, it's Southside Bosses as well. And we're looking forward to speaking to y'all again. You know, this is a great show. I hope y'all uh, listen to that and, and want to make some changes to this to, to this legal system because we definitely need to do something out there. All right, Connie, it was great talking to you tonight. We are, we're going to be looking forward to that next show. And, uh, hey, everybody, this is your boy, Mr. Flavor, again, tonight. Oh, it's, yeah, I'm going to say tonight because it's already uh, Thursday, right? <laughs> but, yeah, tonight, 7 p.m. is going down. Y'all make sure y'all look, tune in. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mr. Flavor, straight from Jamaica, going to be going live on BOSS Radio Underground Interviews. You heard me? This is Let's Dance Tonight. And you just <laughs> it's Mr. Flavor alongside Daniel Dory. All you ladies, come out and party. It's time to party. So come and party. Hey, hey, hey. It's a party and I just got paid. Gonna party cause the vibe's okay. Me and my shorty dancing the night away. Enjoy yourself as if it's your birthday We are flowers as if it's on holiday Don't matter what the haters wanna say Still a party cause we just don't care Sipping on energy with red stripe hair Hey, hey, hey Come on baby, let's dance tonight We're gonna celebrate 
come and party. Hey, it's Mr. Flavor alongside Daniel Dubri. All you ladies, come out and party. It's time to party. So come and party. Hey, 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 hey. The wickedest and baddest Jesse ranking J Drop. What's this? Him and I'll say, Touch your toes, girl, bend your back, uh. shake your back, uh. take your time. The way that you wind that, break me heart, uh. skin to skin, that I'm a shop, me mind boom. In the sister, girl, I'm super sexy. <gasps> Wicked in a bit, but she not my lady. She am a red to you, but she am my baby. Right on the back, she not one lazy. Him and I, they come get the gen of my Chelsea ranking From when me born 1993 Some of them are coming the dance hall king Check on the billboard the magazine eh? Shy girl she a wine for me Just forget not to cause she water free She come to me and we do the bad man thing I think she's 17 she tell me but she's in no. Girl them a twist them a shake them a wine uh. All the girl them a wine for me Girl, them a twist, them a shake, them a wine. All oh, the girl, them a wine pon me. I want to do them, do 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 them, do 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 them. I want to do them, do 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 them, do 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 them. I want to do them, do do them, do do them. Say, girl, them a twist, them a shake, them a wine. You are the remedy, the bit to me heart. Uh. Sexual healing, you are give me that. Uh. You have a big bumper, but your belly flat. Uh. The way you whining, oh my God. Uh, one time she uh, come to me at uh, the night. I was just uh, smoking, uh, drinking some wine. Took off her dress, her body looking so fine She said to me, me I you take what's mine Sexy Annabella, under her umbrella Pretty cute, yes, but she a step in razor She a wet up her waist every time we there together Love me anytime, anyway, I watch this Me no worry, but nobody me got nothing to lose Ready, your boy, I wear the girl, they my toes I seen a makeup, Valentine's and Joe's If you want me, if you take your via cross When me sing, say Girl, they my toes, they my check, they my wine Oh, the girl, they my wine on me, girl, them a twist, them a shake, them a wine. Oh, the girl, them a wine on me. I want to them, do 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 them, do do them. I want to them, do 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 them, do 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 them. I want to them, do 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 them, do 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 them. Say, girl, them a twist, them a shake, them a wine. Papa is a fix me a right to body. Searching for so long, me a now find it. Every time, baby, me a gotta wind it. Without you, baby, where I woulda been? Oh yeah. Stam da body bidi bidi dem ba dam ba dam bring da body bidi bidi oh yeah. Stam da body bidi bidi dem ba dam ba dam bring da body bidi. Girl dem a twist dem a shake dem a wine ah. Oh the girl dem a wine pon me. Girl dem a twist dem a shake dem a wine ah. Oh the girl dem a wine pon me. I wanna do them, do 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 them, do 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 them. I wanna do them, do 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 them, do 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 them. I wanna do them, do do them, do do them. Say girl dem a twist dem a shake dem a wine. We get we. Wicked, a wicked woman, type of woman where you give me the wine. It's a wicked, wicked, a wicked woman, type of woman where you give me the wine. We are wicked, 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 wicked. You are wicked, wicked, a wicked woman. Say wicked, wicked, a wicked, wicked. You are wicked, wicked, a wicked woman. Oh. <laughs> Lot of mercy, they girl them a sexy. Amen, oh say, amen, oh say, amen, oh. Sweet like you, none of them free like you. Could I never be like you? Fresh and clean like you, walking like you. Come be a big boo, stick like a crazy glue. Your sweetness turned me a fool. 
Your sweetness turn me a fool, but everything cool. Fanta, baby, give me the answer, baby. Make me walk to the altar, baby. In a the bed, you a monster, baby, baby. Fanta, baby, give me the answer, baby. Make me walk to the altar, baby. In a the bed, you a monster, baby, baby. Baby, tell me what you have on your mind. Your sweetness can't get enough over time. Love me all up when love is a crime. You taste like sugar, you know, so I like lime. Baby, tell me what you have on your mind. Your sweetness can't get enough over time. Love me all up when love is a crime. You taste like sugar, you know, so I like lime. Tell a girl, say, go here, go here, go here. From you, not take them nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. Them I look, but could they, could they, could they? You know, one them, no day, no day, no day. Tell a girl, say, go here, go here, go here. From you, not take them nowhere. No way, no way. Them a look but could they, could they, could they? You know one them no day, no day, no day. Fanta baby, give me the answer baby. Make me walk to the altar baby. Inna the bed you a monster baby, baby. Fanta baby, give me the answer baby. Make me walk to the altar baby. Inna the bed you a monster baby, baby. Give me a little chance now. Baby, put down your pants now. When the real beefy runs now, walk me body can't stand now. You never seen nothing yet. Then I press my button yet. Touch me till my something wet. I am the one so me I forget. You never seen nothing yet. Then I press my button yet. Touch me till my something wet. I am the one so me I forget. Tell a girl say fi go here, go here, go here. From you not take them nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. Them a look but could they, could they, could they? You know one them no day, no day, no day. Tell a girl say fi go here, go here, go here. From you not take them nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. Them a look but could they, could they, could they? You know one them no day, no day, no day. Fanta baby, give me the answer baby. Make me walk to the altar baby. Inna the bed you a monster baby, baby. Fanta baby. Make me walk to the altar, baby. Inna the bed, you a monster, baby, baby. Fanta, baby. Give me the answer, baby. Make me walk to the altar, baby. Inna the bed, you a monster, baby, baby. Fanta, baby. Give me the answer, baby. Make me walk to the altar, baby. Inna the bed, you a monster, baby, baby. Radio has been going global for a long time now, and we're glad that you're listening to our reggae hour. And I hope that you're enjoying all the underground reggae from all over the world. But we want to invite you to check out our other radio shows as well. We have Revolutionary Hour where we talk about economics, we talk about politics and current events, while at the same time bringing you music that has so much knowledge in it that it will help hopefully reconstruct the mental state that our people have been in for a while. So definitely check out Revolutionary Hour with BOS Says Radio. You can find us at www.sbcmovement.com. And we also have our Passion Hour. You can definitely catch us on there every Sunday night as we give y'all underground R&B and soul music to help end your weekend off the right way with your boo. You heard me. And all our new artists out there, you underground trying to get your name out there, definitely hit us up where we can get your music on New Music Monday. BOSS Radio has been covering underground artists of rap, hip-hop, reggae, and R&B and soul for a very long time, and we can definitely help get your music out there. So definitely hit us up. New artists of all genres. We definitely trying to get you heard. You heard me? We also have on Thursdays where we actually interview underground artists, businessmen, and the like, producers, anybody that is out trying to help promote their business or promote a cause or promote an event or anything that they want to bring to the face of 
uh, to the public place, please definitely hit us up. We'll definitely get you on our Thursday interviews. You feel me? Already. So you already know, Mr. E, boss of the Southside Boss is going to keep it real with you. And BOSS Radio is always going to keep it coming with some nice music. So y'all definitely tune in. You're listening to the Reggae Hour here on BOSS Radio. Uh, the man who feed the money and I try get it hard. The man who said you brand record. Who no go prison just a thing like that? Feed the money no for them a ton proud. I got bets. No for them go a foreign and run left yard. Make money shuffle them like card. No for fish so my switch so much up in a bit each hard. The man that them a cheat like tag. Them say money and the EM and the power and the willing. So them boss have a face for a little piece of shilling. Them a lot the streets, them a do the killing. Them say no for casket they have for the body them feeling. Money them a go hard for, you want money them a go hard for, and them now prosper. Money them a go hard for, you want money them a go hard for, that's why them falter. Money them a go hard for, you want money them a go hard for, Rasta makes them shatter. Money them a go hard for, you want money them a go hard for. What is this? Them ton fish we get rich and a power with poor belly dick. Look at this, them they a yard well good gun a foreign gun blow man kiss. From your this, head top a lip, punch at a fly, them youths and never miss. How money make them run, gun pessimists, and know everything you see, free practice. Transform. Money them a go hard for, you want money them a go hard for, and them now prosper. Money them a go hard for, you want money them a go hard for, that's why them falter. Money them a go hard for, you want money them a go hard for, Rasta makes them shatter. Money them a go hard for, you want money them a go hard for. Them a loo for the money and a try get it hard Them a fee set new brand record Who no go prison just a dead like that For the money no for them a ton fraud I got bet No for them go a foreign and run left yard Make money a shuffle them like yard No for fish some a switch some go jab in a midi child Them a that them a cheat like dog Them say money and the EM and the power and the willing So them boss have a face for a little piece of shilling Them a lock the streets, them a do the killing Them say no for cash get they up in the body them feeling Money them a go hard for, you want money them a go hard for, and them now prosper. Money them a go hard for, you want money them a go hard for, that's why them falter. Money them a go hard for, you want money them a go hard for, Rasta makes them shatter. Money them a go hard for, you want money them a go hard for. Rasta 
man no live in a them tenement yard Watch it, watch it, too much chatty, chatty That's where Rasta no live in a no tenement yard Too much watch it, watch it, and chatty, chatty Them spread news like newspaper I move like social media Instagram, Facebook and Twitter What's up with them people, yeah? Don't spoil it, don't backtrack Give me the 
we don't stop Don't trick me, let me down Me dip on the right, you put me on the left Give me the upper cut, prove it to me boy, say you're the best, yes This a paper, you deserve your marker Your name engraved on it, can't come off, sir Believe this is a love letter Me a ride, me never force, but my name get free Yeah, he my request, me like my baby pen He my follow me on Twitter, Facebook, him logging Eh, hey, don't trick me, not of me dad Don't spoil me, don't back chat Give me the tweet, don't stop Don't trick me, not of me dad Don't trick me, not of me dad Don't spoil me, don't back chat Give me the tweet, don't stop Don't trick me, not of me dad Him sauce a shit him, that means that him love it Strolling over this, so baby click right there, so touch it Me love my gangsta boy because him know for tug it No one a nerd because the nerd don't know for love it Me a go wine for the general to thump it up Me a go make you know straight about me comfy bro Because you not go flop me in a this, don't know chick off a kiss Oh you a breed so you a asthmatic Don't trick me, not of me dad Don't spoil me, don't back chat Give me the Tweet don't stop, don't trick me, not of me dad Don't trick me, not of me dad Don't spoil me, don't back chat Give me the tweet don't stop, don't trick me, not of me dad Not of me dad Don't do that K-Y-M-K-M Wait another one Feed the general I do my best thing hey. Don't trick me, not of me dad Don't spoil me, don't back chat Give me the tweet, don't stop Don't trick me, not of me dad Don't trick me, not of me dad Don't spoil me, don't back chat Give me the tweet, don't stop Don't trick me, not of me dad Don't, 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 don't Don't, 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 don't. BOSS Radio, Southside Bosses, its owners and associates take no responsibility for the opinions or statements made by the talk show host or their guests. Statements or show topics are not necessarily the beliefs of the site or the radio station, and opinions between talk show hosts may conflict. This site does not endorse anything as the truth that you will have to judge for yourself. But we try to speak the truth on the owner's behalf and reserve the right to question the supposed truth. In this time of misinformation, government controlled media, and government corruption, it is sometimes hard to get to the truth, but we must try. It is not our intention to libel, discriminate, make hate, or annoy anyone. We believe that it is our constitutional First Amendment right of free speech to voice our opinions and our duty to the Constitution and country to expose the truth. This site takes no responsibility for the opinions of others and the postings of comments in chat rooms or forum posts. Marcus Records. Mocha Soul Production. Yes. Get into the matic, darling, cup, raskin, kiss me. Bat the bop, for sure, see me. Bat the bop, eh. The bat the bop, eh. The bat the bop, eh. Eh. The body bopping and the girls them a wine and drinking. Nobody fronting, cause we all tryna have a good weekend. Tell me one thing, are you ready for your party of a lifetime? Tell me one thing, are you ready for your party of a lifetime? Miguel, I call me phone, but me can't pick up. She must be vexed right now, but the party go. I got a lot of pretty ladies who are broke it up. But foop it over yonder fat, all I broke it up. Now I'll be party, then you better turn it up Drink up on no a liquor and blaze it up One life where you get so better leave it up Me never show up at tomorrow so me leave it up It's got to first two And the party's ain't over I came here with my crew But the crowd it all over I don't know what to do Got my drinks on my shoulders The party's got the brew And the sweat like a load So me got set down one bag of niceness One bag of hype Lick around the ice You stand on the lights Me want me warm in a cave Up me junk in a Call a bubble Let me tell us if it continue We want one thing A letter on a ramping A box Shut your body That me mess Bother dunking up 
Come back with live up this year, bad man congress So if you follow me, tell the baby girls come first Turn on, turn on right when I run this In the days of with two wicked girls Sandwich One African and the other one with pure English Me want to chop a couple but that's the night You come here so if you have fun of your function I am the feminine general Dying to wash a tank, bring us not a clang I'll be decided and I just know just for tonight I'll be fine to I watched uh, 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 Key, Key Appeal like I watched Key Appeal but uh, this is one of the, the, the songs of one of their shows <laughs> when they talking about they, they, they just keep partying and they just party and they party and they party and, 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 and I like I, I, I thought that was the song that they made up just for the show <laughs> but that was Charismatic with a quarter past two featuring Ross Kinky y'all need to check that out you heard me Alrighty, so we gonna go. I'm just coming on to let y'all know we're gonna go ahead and call it a night. You know, I said we're gonna play a couple of more songs, and I hope y'all enjoyed the show. I hope y'all uh, 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 got amped up. And like a person told me once before, don't never stop yourself from getting angry because once you get angry, that's when you want to change. You know, uh, so go ahead and get angry about this. And um, if you if you really are sick and tired of seeing. Women getting taken advantage of uh, and causing uh, a ripple effect throughout society. Then we need to make a change, we need, and we need to start with uh, with these rape laws, these rape laws, these rape sentences. Um, they just not making sense to me, and I hope it don't make no sense to you to the point where you actually want to change it. And you know, it's all good and all great to be able to protest and. Ask our city leaders, ask our county leaders, ask our state leaders, ask our national leaders to fix this. But who's better to fix it than you and me? You know, they, we see they ain't going to do it. So, all right, but I hope everybody enjoyed the music for the night. Again, at Underground Reggae, if you really want to get your music heard on here, go ahead and send us your music at SouthsideSubmissions at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow and like our page at Southside Boss Connection on Facebook and join our group at Southside Bosses as well as True Heritage. You can follow us at on Instagram at uh, Southside Bosses and Twitter as well at Southside Bosses. Y'all go ahead and reach out to us if you really want to get a topic known out there. We'll be love. We'll love to go ahead and get you on here. Y'all ready? Once again, you already know what it is.
shot and them not on the station We not all around and we change up the nation Probably it's a sign that we gonna get complacent Everybody want to move, everybody maintain It's a new talent For a new style and It's a new time and Probably it's gonna be here for a while And you know it's on